So we're in Clovis, California. We just finished installing a Bradford White 50-gallon uh, tall electric water heater. You can see right here. That's your model number and your serial number. Uh, I think we had proposed the 350 uh, for you, uh, but it's, it was a short boy, which uh, means it's about 47 inches tall and about 24 inches in diameter. And uh, after coming out, you know, we knew that the door wasn't going to be big enough. So we need to get to the door. It's 20 inch diameter. It's super tall. So it's basically a direct replacement for the old water you had in there. Uh, 59 inches tall is what it was. That's what you've got here. And that makes it nice because then your electrical can reach. So what we did first is you got a lot of piping up here that goes into a solar water heater. And we were going to take it apart and cap it off. It just kept bleeding down, bleeding down. So what we opted to do is just disconnect everything and put caps on it. So cap there. A cap and a, a coupling and a plug there cap over there cap over there so three caps and just there's no water in it that goes up to a tank it was just but it just kept dripping and uh, we don't want it dripping so we capped it off the valves are shut off that's a three-way valve though so they function kind of different so when you when it's in one direction it allows flow uh, down anyways all the valves are off so everything's capped off we took a couple of blocks up high and mounted them and strapped it to it because it was just free floating in the attic there was nothing supporting this pipe uh, so we moved it up and got it out of the way um, starting with our plumbing we got uh, half uh, three quarter inch ball valves on here um, normally we just put one on the cold side that's all that's required we put it on the hot side too so we could turn the water back onto the home and of course we forgot to tell the homeowner that the water was on so they probably were still waiting for the forest to come and tell them but anyways uh, Pure brass, you have pure copper construction in the wall, brass valves, brass nipples coming out. You can see one on the hot side, one on the cold side over there, and falcon stainless steel connectors down to brass extensions on top of the tank. And so that's good as far as the water connections. We uh, use pure brass and um, or pure copper or stainless steel. We don't use any uh, galvanized pipe. And then we get the, your power tied back in. That's your existing power. Uh, it looked like it was a 30 amp circuit over there, double pole. We took a picture of it, sent it to our electrician. He said, yep, that's going to the water heater, so no big deal. Uh, we weren't, we're not electricians, so we're not certain how large the wires are. It looks like a 10 wire. I don't think it's a 12. It, the, the sleeve, the jacket of the wire is the same size as the wires coming out of the water heater. So you got a black and a red coming out and uh, the, the, the jacket on that wire looked identical to what you've got coming out of your existing. And we can't confirm that. Our electri an electrician can, but we just hooked back up what you've got here and it ran a dual and what you had in here was a dual element. You got an upper element, lower element. And the way it works is uh, this comes on, heats the upper portion, and then the bottom comes on, heats the lower portion. So 4,500 watts top, 4,500 watts bottom, but never simultaneous. Heats top, bottom, and sends the water in the home. So that's tied back in. It's got a nice convenient switch right here so we could work on it instead of going inside the home and, um, <clears throat> and messing with the sub panel. So that's good. Over here we got you a brand new uh, relief line uh, before it was piped down to the floor. And was just pointing out at the door and they're trying to keep rodents from getting in so you get a little weep screen on the bottom of the door feel free to do whatever you want now at that to seal this door off because what we did is we took uh cpvc pipe <clears throat> little union brought it over to the wall down drilled the hole through and so now you can see it, it, it uh, terminates outside of the building where it should be so anything happens any any water too much uh, temperature in there uh, it'll blow off outside of that area uh, the bottom 12 inches of this cabinet area we replaced it had some a little bit of mold on it and quite a bit of water and of course this floor after we got this water heater out of here was covered in about one inch worth of rodent droppings in water so it was soup um so it, it was pretty nasty anyway so we got that cleaned up for you top of the old water heater was about one inch thick in rodent droppings as well and it had just gone down the sides of the blanket so it was a pretty nasty procedure anyways you got it all cleaned up got you some backer board in here it's cement board all the way around and uh 12 about 12 inch piece all the way around you can see here and then the back wall and then the side wall down then we took some big stretch caulking uh this is a it's a premium caulking product they guarantee lifetime no no cracking um they call it the big stretch so it's very flexible durable and it stays in place so um just around the bottom you know uh, to seal it uh, nothing else in here is sealed you can see it's sheetrock but there's no tape on the joints or joint compound at the seams and so we just put uh, you know we just cut it put it back in here and uh so you're good to go uh one little piece over here that we replaced before we put the uh, relief line 
through so that's good we reuse your straps we thought we had some in the truck we didn't but these are adjustable straps lower third and then upper third so it's strapped in place that's good uh we've run water through it or it's actually heating right now and um we can't tell you how long it's going to take for until you have hot water we typically install natural gas or lp gas water heaters and it usually takes about an hour and a half to two hours till you have hot water but uh, anyways everything's back onto the house i think we've covered everything um so that's good uh straps are good um temperature adjustment it comes from the factory at 120 degrees i recommend leaving it at 120 degrees i believe the adjustment is right inside here one screw comes off and there's a little dial that you turn uh i don't recommend that just leave it where it is you know it's going to function the same as it did before uh, as far as the home goes if you're having trouble on one end of the home not getting water fast enough not hot water not temperature but just it's taking too long you come out here and put a pump on right there it's uh just need a little receptacle plug it in and put a, it's either a watts or a grun post recirculation pump and then you go to the furthest fixture put a crossover valve and it'll recirculate the water for you so that's uh down the road but anyways um everything here looks good outside of that this installation is done